So my little Hans is serving me well. It's uh, done uh, great the last two winters. I have any complaint, it's probably just that it's a little underpowered, but uh, it's a definitely a decent and well-built machine. The only drawback of this whole machine is tires. It's got an issue with tires. Um, they are dry rotted and the dry rot really is not the issue. The issue is the tires are specific for this machine. In other words, you can't go out and buy another kind of tire that fits it or another set of tires that fit it and have it work correctly due to the fact that it is four wheel drive and four wheel steer. And what will happen is um, it will end up eventually taking out the transmission if you do try going outside the guidelines and the tires are expensive I want to say it's a thousand bucks to replace the tires on this machine so the back two I already put tubes in it you can kind of see they're all cracked away anyway so I put tubes in the back and they should hold up for a while and then the front uh, basically you get about 24 hours before you got to go put air in them and uh, I thought about putting tubes in them I did a search online and uh, I did find that uh, first I went on a Honda and I looked them up and they were about $200 each for the two front tires and um, then I started copying and pasting that part number that they had on eBay and it went down to 165 plus shipping each and then I copied and pasted and chased and went and did some more numbers and Boats USA had them with free shipping on anything over 150 for 121 bucks a piece so what are we at two 242 delivered to the house for a pair of tires and uh, so those who think I never buy anything new <laughs> and even came with free valve stems imagine that so I am gonna go and uh, see if we can kind of get mr. happy here up on all fours instead of having to uh, go out when the snow is with the airline and blowing back up and uh, deal with it and be the last time I deal with it for well till the back ones go or I still have it in 25 years, I have to do it again. Let's see if we get that sucker to pop off the bead. It's a lovely 25 degrees out, so this rubber should be nice and not want to cooperate. This is just one of those Harbor Freight kind of uh, tire bead breakers. They work pretty good for the smaller stuff. Oh, they're stiff. Hopefully the new one should come off a lot easier. Now, generally I kind of look for which side of the rim has a less of a, a gap on it. This is be about the same where the well drops in. Because you got to get the, the tire. The opposite side has to drop down below that. <laughs> Come on. Oh boy. So that you can come over the bead on this side. suck more. Get this side because now you get nothing to step on. You know, you guys are in the film. In 
insert swear words here. You guys want to grab an end of that for me? Good me handle it. No slime, that's good. I have to clean that crap up. I just gotta get the other one on after I catch my breath. Need to get those tire spoons from the, uh, the in law's basement there. I gotta show some uh, tire stem stuff as they're changing the one that's in there. And uh, one of the things is to take the center out of it. You don't have to do it now, but before you fill it, I'll pop the core out of there. And what that allows you is to get a, a mad blast of air in there instead of just air trickling in. It helps the tire seat a lot better. So there's that. And to help pull the stem up, you got a tool that uh, has a little bit of a bend to it. And on the tip of it, it's got threads that kind of grab the tip of the valve stem. And what that does is it gives you the leverage to kind of pop it up through the rim and uh, to seat it. So, go set up and do that right now. How's that? This room's a little on the small side, but still the same idea. Just kind of keeps you from beating the crap out of the end of it. And, uh, let me just make sure you're looking at what I'm looking at. Yeah, you're fine. So that just kind of goes up on the end of the rim and pops itself through. I know a lot of you guys know it, but uh, I figured I'd just kind of go over everything that you may or may not know. So now we're going to go get the tire lubed up and we'll get that sucker popped back on there. I figure we'll go ahead and try it dry. And if that doesn't work, uh, I got some lube we'll go put on it and uh, keep the jokes to yourself. The um, tire doesn't have any arrows on it saying uh, which direction for it to go or an inside and an outside so we're just going to put it on willy nilly. I just have old screwdrivers with the tips kind of ground off and polished, and that's why they're orange handled. So that I know which ones I could use for tire irons. So the tire irons got a little bit of an angle on it. To kind of help you. Yeah, more of the same. I'm gonna start in the valve stem side. Valve stem side, so that later on, I'm not trying to have that in my way. Foot action. Again, I'm just trying to pop that bead down on the back side so it gives me the room. I want to be under this lip. One more. Almost. 
Voila. In for air. See the, the bead right now is trying to stay up around the valve stem. I'm going to try to get it the other way around. So, by having that stem out of the center there, gives you a, a lot more of an air rush to seat the bead instead of it trickling in. Because it'll leak around the sides real bad. Let's see what happens. That's already seated when you grab the tool. Now you're all set because it's not really going to leak around the bead. These don't run very high. Tractor tires usually run around 10 psi. Well, I run them around 10 psi. It actually gives you better traction. Fifteen. We'll call it fifteen. Let's go take a peek at uh, the front end on this. Not your average craftsman, is it? It's built like a tank. It's a gear reduction. Drop down spindles and uh, the front and the rear steer opposite of each other. So you turn the front tires to the right, the back tires go to the left. I'll show you that in a minute. Let me get these uh, all on here and wrapped up. I just want to show one other thing. Uh, sometimes valve caps come in with the little stem that's on them, and that's what that funky little tip is for on them. It's actually for moving the center of the stem, also. I figured I'd give you a, a show of what happens with and without that in there. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, the air is just kind of flowing through it. Now, I'm sure you can kind of jump on the tire and beat it around a little bit and get it to do what you need to do. And put a rope around it and all, but this just helps you that much more because the, the, the speed the air is going in <laughs> this made me a liar. You know the compressor is going to kick on now. But you get the idea. I hope. If not. And that's the aftermath. Got nice purdy tires on there. You can see by turning the front wheels, the back tires go the opposite direction. And for this application with a snowblower that works out really good because it keeps your back tires from staying in the path that you blew by following the track of the front tires it works out pretty good now that's the end of the show unless any of you guys want a set of uh, nice cheap tires